Okay, that's awesome. First thing I'm probably going to say to him is say, hey, can you sit up right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I want good him. job, though. That was good, though. Good job. That was good. But I don't want to give him cueing if he doesn't need it. Right? So as much as I can, hey, can you sit up right? Right? Can you bring the knees back? Right? And so, just squeeze your shoulders, get a pull a little bit there. See if you can do it on his own. So we have to observe it to see what he can do on his own, right? That's the first thing I am going to do. Now say he can't do that, <laughs> right? And he's able to do, he says he's able to sit up, and then I just have to bring, the only thing he can't really do is bring his legs forward. Then what do I do? Then I can do a verbal cue or a tactile cue, whichever one. So I say, hey, it looks like your foot's a little bit further down. Can you bring it to the same plane as that one, right? If that doesn't work, I can say, hey, you need to get a little bit hip. Hey, hey, I remember, when my hands go, are really important, right? So I'm here, let me bring Brenda and come up, right? See if you need my hip flexion. See if I can align it with my tackle of healing, if my verbal cue doesn't work, okay? If my, if, you, if that limb is like a stage, stage one, maybe a stage four of Brenda's Los Amigos, then I cannot say, hey, lift that up. Give him that cueing, the cueing doesn't work, he needs assistance. Then I will say, that only then will I participate in the process and say, help him come down. Okay? So I want to give him, only give him help when he needs it. Because when you see a lot of people in the clinic and they have a patient just like that, you see a lot of PTs coming in like, oh, you're not in neutral. Oh, now you're in neutral. <laughs> what does that help? All right? So when I, when I don't want you guys to fall into that same trap. Right? What he can do, Please help him with help make sure he can do it. Some patients can't do that. And but you still say, hey, we're gonna move your feet together. Right? That make sense? We're gonna move your we're gonna we always say we. Hey, we're gonna move your leg in, you're more neutral and so forth. Does that make sense? Okay. And then so you so, so that's the lower shape. For same thing with the trunk, right? He's in that bad position. I say if he can't get up on his own, same thing that we did with Michael. We want to use our hands to facilitate or inhibit as much muscle tone as we can get. So say, where were you? You were that way. Okay? Say he's that way. And again, I don't need to know specific muscles. I just have to feel different areas where he's moving, right? So I know this is a little bit elongated. That one's a little bit tight. On the left, on the left side, I'm going to create that expansion posture to inhibit. And I'm going to be a flexion posture just like we did with MDT, right? Sorry, with PNF, right? So the same thing that we're doing, we're going to come in front of him, I'm in front of him, I'm guarding him because he learned from Dr. Locke, right? <laughs> right? And for me, in case he slides, because they do slide because of his posture we're worried about, I have, my, I have my leg on his knee in case he needs it, right? So if he slides to slide forward, he bumps into my knee, I can stop him right there, but I don't want to, I don't want to be here right away, right? If he needs it. So I'm there, same thing. I facilitate, promote, come up, facilitate the building, give him that cueing, just so he knows what he can do it. Our hands, you should be able to, I don't, you should be able to feel and see with your hands, okay? So I don't need to be like, hey, what am I facilitating there, right? So then you miss everything else. So I'm feeling here and I'm looking at the entire body, see if he's slight, he's neutral, he gets neutral there, and then that's where he's going, okay? Make sense? Real simple, right? But this idea that you gotta think of a few things that you're going on. And then I wanna help him with that. I say, hey, once you're in that position, right? And when you, that's your midline position, let's see if you can maintain that position first. Okay? Can you hold that? Sometimes you pull us back. Can you hold that? Or can you find it again? Once he's able to find it again, in a second, now you can find it. I'm on that left side because the left side is the affected side. Okay, can you say, hey, can you hold your hand? Can you lift, bring your hands up? See as much as you can. Can you rotate? So I want to see if you can do activities in this position as much as you can. Right? I have to get here before I even get to. Once you get to here, I can then I can work on the functional task. So that's the that's like a primer for. Does that make sense? 
So now I know you can get here, then I can work on a sit to stance. Can I see if you can do your sit to stand? And honestly, but maybe I say at least one quarter of the time, fixing their posture, get it, up, get it up there, and they stand right back up. I have to not be able to stand for a very long time. Just by getting him into the appropriate position, it's not because you're weak, it's not because you have some sort of brain damage, it's because they never get to this position, can't maintain it, don't feel confident, then the muscles don't kick in. Right? And I say, hey, can you stand up? If you can't do it, I can either, the textbooks teach you to come here and lift up that way. That's, I find that's a lot for me. So for me, I come from this side, and then I can come that way, and I can facilitate, which I want with my hand. Okay? So I can always support that even that side. So I do it this way. I think you guys learned it this way from Dr. Locker in a way, right? Textbook, if you look at a textbook, they tell you go to like, go to here, and then, but for me, I'm way elongated here. So if anything happens to him, like, that's the trouble we face, right? So that's why this way, he comes out this way, anything happens to him, I just push him back down in his chair, all right? That's why I personally, and that's why with everyone, when people who are smaller, I normally tell them to go for the front. So you can guide them and you can guard and push them a little bit better. Okay? Make sense? Okay. So, any questions about that? Where was that right hand when he was sitting to stand? Where were you putting that right hand? Oh, for me? Um, well, you guys are going to all practice this in, um, in your small group together. We're going to go around for the first one, just doing the exact same thing. And then you're all going to give you your own piece of the bubble for that after you get through this. Make sense? Okay. So all I'm doing, first I'm getting that appropriate posture, but so he starts there, I see if he can do it on his own. If he can't do it on his own, I cue him. Cueing doesn't work. I help him, give him assistance, facilitate, or if worst case scenario, active assist, never pass. Right? He gets there, I do that throughout the entire body, facilitate motion. If you're more comfortable to the side, just make sure you block, you have something to block that knee. You can facilitate that motion there, okay? If you do it the way Dr. Locker taught you, the same way I do it, um, she does it this way. Yeah, she blocks the knees. Mm -hmm. Right? She blocks it this way, and she comes that way, um, which is great, right? So I prefer, yeah, the, the max, it doesn't matter what assist there because you can generate your motion. I, I, I don't like, I, I like having more of my hands free. So I come from the side a little bit. And that way, I can do that. I block the knee there. But I think you guys should keep this way. So that way it's harder, right? But, but it's not necessarily wrong to do it from the side. Nope. Mm -hmm. All the textbooks set you from the side, from the affected side. Okay? <clears throat> and then she comes up. And over here, she is facilitating as she comes up. If there are max assists or so forth, the way doctors go down, the way you go down, you should do it is when you come up with them, scoot under and so forth, right? But I want you guys to get accustomed to facilitating motion and saying, hey, what do I need to do step by step to go from here to here, okay? So when you practice that with your partner, go step by step to here. Because you'll see there's a lot more to think about than what you, want, than what you actually do.